All right, so now we are on what would be the driver's side, I guess, if you were in a car of the 8N Ford here. So again, this side didn't have as much, but if I go back and forth, you can see that the wheel moves. So there's some uh, back and forth, side to side in there. We're gonna try tightening up that nut. And then if we do this, you can see how the wheel spins a lot. So, what I'm going to do, yeah, I got the heater on again, so it's louder, it's louder here because I turned it off and I'm going to do this tonight. Uh, wow, it's still spinning pretty good, huh? I'm going to adjust the nut. I don't think there's anything wrong with the bearings. Um, for those that uh, saw the other video, I'm definitely keeping those old bearings from the other wheel because I don't think there was anything wrong with them. And they're probably a better quality than, uh, than the bearings I put in. So we're gonna do this just like the other one here. Hopefully this pops straight off. Just a little, little crusty boys. This side I have not had off yet, so I don't know uh, what it's going to look like. Hopefully it looks good. It feels like it's packed with grease. This is exciting. It's like unwrapping a present. And there you go. Alright, so... Alright, let me uh, clean it up a little bit and we'll pull the cotter pin. There you go. Now uh, you see the cotter pin here, they got it flattened out. This grease is pretty uh, dry in the way of uh, comparing the two from the grease I just used. This stuff definitely looks a lot more red than the other side. The other side just looked brown. I don't know, I may pack a little grease in there. I don't know, you probably should, shouldn't mix grease, I guess, but to me it looks like, there you go, we got the cotter pin out. And let's just check this nut. Oh yeah, so the nut's definitely loose, that's good. Well, it's not good, but at least I'm assuming that uh, we can get it to tighten up here. Um, I'm going to take this nut off. It's my plan. And then I think what I may do is try to maybe repack that front bearing. We'll have to see. I don't know how bad this is. Off to the side. So, set that on the side, and that, oh, not, use the car for that unit, maybe, come on, there it is, and pull that out, Oh, 
Because even if this bearing was bad, I could use the other one from the other side. So, oops, the bearing looks like it doesn't look too bad. Um, definitely a different type of grease. So, we'll clean this up a little bit and pack her up with some new grease. All right, so uh, repack the bearing, got that in there. Uh, I did slide the whole hub off just to kind of check the back. The back, the bearings definitely sound rattly. Oops, I should have got a laser. The, the back definitely sounds rattly, but uh, I'm not pulling it off because I don't have a seal. And uh, this thing is going in Saturday and getting new rear tires put on, so. I definitely don't want to be waiting any longer because I got all sorts of issues with uh, fluid leaking out of that back tire. So um, this is just a real quick inspection here. I'm not going to do a full fudge cleaning on this thing. So added, I added a little grease, not much. Um, I really didn't clean anything up besides that that bearing a little bit, and then put in some new grease. So and then what I'm going to do here. Let's crank this nut down a little bit more than what it was and hopefully that fixes the loose but those back bearings definitely sound noisy and seem loose but and it's the same groove that the other side had worn into oh well it's tight already that's way better than what it was it's not i can't make it jiggle right now so if i crank on this a little bit that's probably all it's going to take Yeah, unreal. I think the other side is definitely too tight. I'm going to have to uh, loosen that. I don't know, I heard a rule of thumb is that it should go about a turn and a half. And then just when it stops, it should roll back a little bit. Which this one really didn't do. But I think it's. it feels like it's plenty tight. But there's no... Nothing now. That's all it was, was the nut was a little... Definitely seems noisy to me though. Like I can hear those, the back bearings rolling, so... Probably needs to be greased. Um, it might not be a bad idea to go ahead and order some uh, bearings and at least a seal. Probably bearings. Might as well do bearings and then a, a seal in the back and redo this side. But for now, I just wanted to get it tightened up because I know that it was not good the way it was. The way it was loose like that. But that seems plenty loose. That was, and the thing is, it's way tighter than what it was. If you were looking before, like, I don't know if I can get it any tighter. I think that may be it. I think the bearings are probably, probably had it. Probably seen better days. So let's see how close we are to hitting something here. Look at that. I'm in two for two with these cotter pins in the first goal. Let's see if we can get that in the rest of the way. across the front which I don't know if that's right but it's the way I'm going with it and then this other one I don't they look like they had it back but I can just kind of spin it in on itself like that so it's out of the way there it's not gonna go anywhere and then uh, this cup goes back on I'll probably put a little I'll clean that out and then put a little bit new grease in there for what it's worth Oh, I hope I don't get the camera greasy here. Really hope I don't get it greasy. Okay, so finished project. Uh, I didn't think that I did much difference, but if you remember, that's pretty good. It slows down, so obviously it's not just freewheeling there. 
Oh, it looked like it came back a little bit, like it moved. That's good, maybe I got it set up okay. Um, don't want to stick a ton of money in this tractor because I don't know how much life is left in that engine without a rebuild, but that's uh, it's definitely tight. That's better than what it was. So I'm going to call that a win. I'm going to check the other side that I did because I don't know that I have that set right. I think I have that side set too tight. I did do a little bit of driving with it last night just to uh, test it out and it seemed like it was fine but again I had that pretty pretty snug uh, in comparison to what it was so let's come around this way here again a high-tech operation here it's my uh, thing yeah that's definitely too tight I don't like that. It doesn't even make a revolution, does it? If you watch this one here, I guess it does. It makes one revolution, but that seems too snug. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Same thing, pull that hub off, the cap, and then uh, adjust it a little bit. All right, so it's definitely better. I backed it off just a little bit. Now we get, we are uh, follow this one here. One, two about two turns and uh i don't want to go any less than that i backed it off some more and then i could feel up and down play you could go like this with the wheel and you'd feel the play and you obviously don't want that because then your bearings are tight in those races so yeah it's tight now so that's good because you could feel it click a little bit and i'm pretty sure you don't want that Again, I'm not an expert at this. I'm doing this whole thing without any type of manual or anything like that. So I'm definitely not an 8N, 9N, 2N, 3N Jubilee expert. Um, but, I don't know, common sense tells you that that's got to be pretty close. And as long as you keep your eye on it and you don't work the thing too hard without checking it, shouldn't do any damage. I don't know how you can. So... All right, so that's that. I'm gonna set this down and take this for a little road trip. So I got running, just idling here. Again, this is what I did. You can check, this is the wheel I changed the bearings on. And if we come around to the back side, this is the one I just tightened up, so I really didn't do much with that. So and these are the back tires that are getting replaced. I think this one is better than the other one. There's not much left. Not too much checking, but uh, like I said, this side here is leaking. The inside of this rim doesn't look so hot, so it's time. Yeah, this tire is obviously, there's nothing left here. So new tires, new rim, new tubes, I think. Put the solution back in. So, alright, project complete.